Last week, we talked about how dogs love, love, love our better than a bull protocol, how it taps into their natural instincts and how dogs prefer the challenge of working to get their food than to get it without the effort like out of a bowl. So for the next three weeks, we're going to give you ways in which you can implement our better than a bowl protocol to grow your training goal. Our first better than a bowl strategy is scatter feed. Mornings have a tendency to be a busy, busy time for most households. Sometimes just remembering to feed your dog feels like a huge win. So even though that is a busy time of day, our, our better than the bowl protocol can make that time of day easier for you instead of more difficult. Scatter feeding is quick, it's easy, and it's a ton of fun for your dog. It also promotes calmness. So this is how you do it. If you have a safely fenced yard, pick a grassy spot for your dog to hunt for pieces of food. Release. So you're gonna scatter the food just like chicken feed. You just throw it out in that grassy area. In the beginning, you're looking to scatter it in an area that might be three feet by three feet. You want your dog invested in hunting for that food. And as your dog gets good at hunting for the food under that set of circumstances, you can slowly start growing the amount of space. So I started Huli with a three feet by three feet area, but now she's working an area that's probably 20 feet by eight feet long. Now, if you don't have a safely fenced yard or you don't have a surface in your yard that would be appropriate, so maybe your yard is all gravel, or maybe it's in the middle of the winter and you have three feet of snow, <laughs> or maybe you don't have a yard at all, you live in an apartment, you can still do scatter feeding. Instead, you're gonna scatter the food along the baseboards, under tables, in boxes filled with balls, or in snuffle mats. So this is a snuffle mat. It has all these wonderful fluffy fibers and you could easily order these online. Instead, I would have a bunch of snuffle mats. I would sprinkle the food into the snuffle mats and put those around the house for your dog to sniff the food. If you have a dog that spends an unreasonable amount of time sniffing on walks, your big struggle is getting that dog's nose off the ground. The snuffle mats is a way better option for your dog than scatter feeding outside. Hunting down the food in your yard, in a grassy area, or inside your house, along the baseboards, under tables, out of boxes, in snuffle mats, is going to absolutely delight your dog. It's gonna occupy, it's gonna give your dog that challenge that its brain absolutely craves and relishes and thrives on. And it's going to help produce a calmer dog making the rest of the day with your dog easier and more productive. If you'd like our Better Than a Bowl handout, send me a message, include your email address and put down the words Better Than a Bowl and I'll make sure I get that handout to you. Next week, we're going to give you another Better Than a Bowl strategy that's completely different to help you meet your dog training goal. At the bottom of this video, click the bell and the like button so you know when that next video is posted.